next video we will be creating this GUI and we will be using Kinta as I told you in the previous video so first let me show you what are the components which we are gonna cover first are these labels name address phone number hotel royce then we have this entries then we have these buttons this scroll bar and this text area okay so uh, in this video i'll be covering these labels and entries and in the next video i'll show you how to make this scroll bar this text area and these buttons okay so i'll go to my atom editor and create a new file you can use any editor but i personally use atom so run dot for those who are new you can go to my previous video and watch that what this video series is all about it's a short introduction of this video series on my project so you can watch that from kinter import star sorry it will be from Kinter. From Kinter import star or from Kinter import all. Okay. Now we'll create the window equal to DK. Then the ending. okay so here we go now first I'll create the label which is hotel here placed at the top actually this is also a label okay so label 1 equal to uh, uh, python is case sensitive so make sure that this L is capital and this T is capital okay. make sure that your cases are correct ok text is equal to hotel ok then label one dot grid we are using grid here for implementing or for putting this label in this window placed at row equal to zero and column equal to 0 ok we are using row and column convection here to place our labels and all the components basically when we use this grid functionality we use uh, rows and column convections ok so I will copy paste so how many labels are we having so one two three four five six seven okay so seven one two three four five six seven okay let me rename them it's second so not be hotel this will be name okay so 
name based at the position row 1 and column 0 what is the second label its address this will be placed at 2 sorry fourth I guess fourth is phone number right yeah phone number we place that uh, three I guess yeah so three column is zero yeah it's five this one is number of days you want to stay in so number of if you want to stay in okay five and the row will be four this again six will be room type room type we have three types of room normal king or deluxe at row 5 the last total amount okay so let's save it and see if it's working or not go to the folder open powershell here Python front dot py and uh, yeah, we have it. So this is not looking the exact way that we want, but still, they are placed accurately okay so next thing is your entries okay so let's code them down name equal name text is equal to st 
train variable we have our entry 1 variable equal to title sorry name text and now we have to grid our entry to the window how we will grid it and column one okay I'll copy this and how many entries are we having one two three four and five and six also this is also entry two three four five and six okay one two three four five okay so we have these five entries this will be address text will be entry second and this is equal to ADDRSS address text ok at column co column will be same actually row will be changed ok so row is changed row is 2 now we have sorry it's entry second and it's entry first now we have our phone number this may look a bit long and a bit annoying but still it's a good practice to use the exact names so that you don't forget them so it will be phone number six okay and it will be at 3 3 3 dot grid I guess everything is right name it will be I can't write all this so it will be no we can say that it's our fourth entry and it will be no f number of actually fourth and it will be placed at fourth row then we have 
are room type room type this is our entry fifth room type entry fifth third grid and row will be fifth and the last one is amount this will be entry sixth and Entry six dot grid and row will be sixth. So here we have. Let me save all this stuff. Go to my PowerShell here. So we are having an error. Okay. Unknown option. This is text variable. On which line? Oh, on line number twenty-six. Okay. So here we have yeah. Actually, it's not text underscore where. Let me save this, run once again, so here we have, we have our labels and the text areas, okay, we have our hotel here, and so I'll meet you in the next lecture and tell you how we can make these text areas sorry text area these buttons and this scroll bar this will look more nicer okay so meet you in the next lecture